right. uh, my name is uh, Ioan Vorducea and I'm from Horia Hulubei National Institute for Physics and Nuclear Engineering in Romania, in Magurele, which is very close to Bucharest. And in the following slides, I will tell you a few words regarding our machines that are available for the TNA. So we have three tandem accelerators. And for this TNA, we are sharing the three megavolt tandetron. So for this, we are offering 200 hours per year. Also, we have another other facilities like the nine megavolt tandem accelerator and also the one megavolt machine, which is accelerator mass spectrometry dedicated. And regarding the methods, we can do the deactivation and that is the use of the Thundertron, the three megavolt Thundertron. And also by combining these with the ultra low background salt mine in Slamik Prahova for uh, activities which are higher for times, for half times higher than one, two hours. And for the, the other methods, it's the beta gamma coincidence. And this is uh, very good for half times, which are very, uh, uh, small in time, like two or three minutes like this. And then other types of uh, experiments that we can perform with will be spectroscopy of resonances with the help of the nine megavolt machine and also some other from gamma rays, silicon detectors, so like this. And for these 200 years per year for the Ketek Infra, we will apply for the PAC. So we have a program advisory committee which gave us access to the beam time. And one important thing is that, that our institute, if in HH, has accommodation facilities, which belong to the institute or very close by, there are a lot of uh, hotels like this. Next slide, please. So the home infrastructure will be the main, uh, the free megavolt thunderstorm, which has the, terminal voltage up to 3.3 megavolts. And uh, it gives very good currents for alpha and also for light ion induced reaction. Uh, for the detection part, we have gamma ray detection system from prompt gamma ray and also from the activation point of view. And for this one, we can use the ultra low background lab in the salt mine. And also is the nine megavolt machine, but yeah. The next slide, please. So this is uh, some uh, values for the target, the currents that we can obtain at our accelerator. So you can see that are in the micro ampere range. So these are very good currents from the astrophysical point of view. And next slide, please. So this is the layout of the our machine, the three megavolt thunderstorm. We have uh, two ion beam sources and also three beam lines. And uh, uh, in our paper, there is a lot of information regarding all the parameters for this. Next slide, please. So this is an actual picture of our Thundertron machine. And in the zoom photo, it is the chamber where we performed a lot of experiments regarding the nuclear astrophysics. Next slide, please. And activation and measurements in environments with ultra low background. So by combining the accelerator, our Thundertron, which gives very high currents and do some activation measurements and then take the target and uh, measure in an ultra low background facility, which is in a salt mine, it's called Slanik in Prahova. And that is around two, 2.5 hours of driving so one can take the irradiated target with the car and then measure it in our lab. So here in this salt mine, our institute has a uh, laboratory, which is uh, very good for this kind of uh, measurements. Next slide, please. And regarding the activation and measurements in environments with reduced background, so by combining the Thundertron from the irradiation point of view, one, we can also measure the beta gamma coincidence system. So for targets, which we have a very small half times, like a few minutes, we can measure just in the next laboratory to say like this. Next slide, please. So this is the micro lab. You can see on the map, 
it's like around two hours drive. And uh, in that salt mine, which is uh, around 200 meters under, we can measure these activated targets. And also we have uh, in our institute another gamma spec lab, which can measure also activation from the targets. Next slide, please. So this is uh, just uh, uh, to tell you what is the background. In, so in our uh, mine, salt mine in Slamik, we are measuring around, let's say 1.8 counts per hour and also 4.8. So this is very, very small. So we are comparable with other laboratories like this from, from our uh, range of energies that are interested. Next slide, please. So this is uh, one of our experiments. So we irradiated some targets and this is uh, to show the background and then the detector with uh, suppression of the background. So we can, uh, for our region of interest, which was around 2.3 MeV like this was very good, was not affected by the background. The next slide, please. So regarding more information about our measurements, uh, on the on below we have uh, some uh, publications and you can see the ground and also the underground which is shielded so this is a very large reduction so we can perform this kind of measurements from the astrophysical point of view next slide please so we can measure ultra we can have uh, ultra low level background measurements so for this uh, graph we uh, measured uh, Continuous beam on the target, it was around 3.4 days. And then we took the activated target. We took this target to the salt mine and measured almost four days. And this is how the spectra looks. And also uh, we present here, one of the lowest uh, up till now, from what we know, the smallest energies from our system, it was like carbon 13 on carbon 12. So we measured this for 2.3 MeV. So you also have an estimation from the cross section from the proton deactivation channel, which was around 100 picoparms. And more information regarding this is in our publication. You can see below in physics letters B published uh, last year. Next slide, please. And I, this is also some of our experiments. And you can see the comparison with the DRS from 1976 and our, also our activation measurements in our laboratory. Next slide, please. So this is also some measurements regarding for the carbon-13 on carbon-12 uh, from the proton channel. The next slide, please. And we also have other facilities and possibilities if it is the case. We can try to include also the nine megavolt and also one megavolt accelerator mass spectrometry if it's needed. Next slide, please. And also what's included in this TNA for this project, we have the, our Institute Target Preparation Laboratory. So you can prepare our own targets and you can see we have a fully equipped target laboratory, which is run by our colleague Nicoletta. And we have different kinds of deposition methods. And next slide, please. And this is some others, some other uh, experimental setups, which are also used to produce various targets and also include some isotopic targets. And that would be all for this. Thank you very much.